this is Ninja Lens here. I just thought I'd come in for a quick vlog and kind of talk to you guys about what's going on. Most of you guys probably know about this, but for those of you who don't, Ray William Johnson on this Wednesday, I, this is the night before he quits, he is going to stop equals three. Say what you will about his content, I know that there's a big argument about him, I don't... I don't really want to talk about it in this video. There's, if you want to know about it, just search it. I'm pretty sure that you'll find find the argument that's going on. But that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about how he impacted me, and how it's going now. How it ending made me feel, because it may not be evident in a lot of the videos I create, but he inspired me. Well, he's the one who really got me into YouTube. Now, he's not the first YouTuber I ever watched and subscribed to, but he's one of the first. And he was the first one that really got me thinking about making my own YouTube videos. Uh, I'll tell the story about my first couple, my first YouTubers that I watched a different time, but this one is about Ray and Johnson. Uh, it was like my sophomore year of high school, and I wanted to see some viral videos, so I YouTubed that, and I found his channel. And I spent a very long amount of time not doing my homework and watching his videos, binging on them. And they were hilarious. Well, they made me laugh really loud. Uh, I don't, I'm very hard. And during the ap moments after that, I would tell the, I would rip jokes straight out of his show. I would take his sh jokes. Let's talk about the video. And I'd make one of his jokes at the lunch table. And one day, a guy joined us, and he knew, he watched William Johnson as well. And he's like, dude, he, he finished my jokes for me. I was like, oh, he knows I'm stealing my jokes. I'm caught. Go be red-handed. Brown-handed, because I'm brown. But, uh, so... Well, we wound up being friends, kind of good friends, so at least through high school. So there's that, but that's not really what I want to talk about. I was really into his comment question of the day. By the time I'd finished watching through all his oldest videos to his newest videos, I started competing in the... I can't remember the first video that I got into my subscription box from him. I think it was like... She did the postman or something like that. Um because I spent a lot of time watching through the older videos. But I was really interested in being part of the comment question of the day discussion. I wanted to be guy that featured at the end. It got me into commenting because I really didn't comment. I thought commenting was stupid. And that there was that. And I just found myself in a wonderment. I wanted to communicate. I wanted to be part of a community. I think that may have been why I wanted to win the comment question of the day so I'd have attention so I could communicate with other YouTubers. But what I wound up inspiring me to do was... My, now, most of my videos nowadays don't really resemble Equals 3. But my first ever YouTube video I posted on a completely different channel that I will never ever show anyone. It's still up, but I'm not gonna tell anyone the link. I, maybe you can find it for yourself. But uh, it was like Ray William Johnson only so shameful. Luckily for me, this is the only time I will ever say luckily about YouTube's oversaturation of content and inability to find videos. Uh, and that no one found it. Thank the law. Thank Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> um. And at first I was upset about it, but now I'm happy about it. So I, I did it, and I did it once. And I really just wanted to have a comment question of the day of my own, but realized that no one found the videos, so I, I stopped. After that. I spent a lot of time doing those little doing little vlogs in my room because I watched his I can't remember his vlog channel. I think it's NYC LA something. I love those. I love the idea of making them. 
And I just shot so many of them. My computer is so very full of these old little vlogs. So much of my sophomore and junior year are documented. So I think I might have Ray William Johnson to thank because that, that my memories are so safe. They are recorded, kind of. And eventually I discovered other, I, I discovered the Ninja Lens channel and you know, I, I created the Ninja Lens channel and I started creating content for that. And it may not really look like it because, but one of the videos you guys may notice, the Ninja Lens show, it showed my unrelenting lust to be like Ray William Johnson. Um, so if anything, Ray, you got me in front of a camera. If, if you could ever watch this. Um, you, you were the first guy. I, I, I'd seen so many videos before that I just couldn't do. They were either people hurting themselves, one in a million catches on camera, or things that I just couldn't even wrap my head around creating. Um, I don't ever want to demean your content because I know what you do is it's work. I recognize that it's work. Um, because you do it so often. But it seemed approachable. You talked in front of a camera. And now I real after that I realized I can't, I'm not that great in as a vlogger, you, you might be able to tell from this, but it got me trying. It got me thinking about it. It got me wondering about it. And you got me into something that I like doing, but I'm not, I'm not successful in it. Maybe one day I will, maybe one day I won't. But one way or another, you made an impact on my life. So I want to say thank you for that. If you ever will watch that. I'm Ninja Lance. And I approve this message.